40k Wars Trek from Reddit has sent me another airport puzzle. The reported problem this time is that ramp agents aren't getting to all of these remote stands. And he thinks that has something to do with service cars not going there. The service cars just aren't actually ever turning up at these stands, so let's watch for a little while and see what happens. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is there's a lot of vehicles driving around in general. So, for example, this fire truck. Fire trucks, unless there's an emergency, should be sat in their emergency response station. I can see there's one there already. So let's just watch him for a while. Yeah, and you can see there's a police car driving around like a very crazy driver. <laughs> so there's definitely something screwy going on with those. The fact they're not stopping anywhere tells me they're not able to get here. So if I were to, for example, grab the analysis tools and say vehicle path from here to here, you can definitely traverse that ground, right? You can get into the bay. And that in itself is a really big clue. If you see vehicles driving around every which way, there's very few reasons it can happen. First reason is there's no parking available, which clearly isn't the case here because you can have four vehicles in one of these and there's only two there currently. The second reason is if there's no road access to their parking bay, Third reason is the parking bay is full. Uh, sorry, the parking bay they're assigned to is full. There might be space in other bays, but they're not allowed to park in those ones. So if you had two depots, for example, you might be assigned to depot one, like this one over here. This one might be full, and you wouldn't be able to park in this one because you're still assigned to number one. The third reason, and I have already discovered this, this fire truck is assigned to Terminal 2. Now if we go out and we look at our zones, sorry our terminal markings, it's a little blurry because the lines are so close together, but this dividing where I'm pointing with the cursor is in between the two zones. So Terminal 1 on the left, Terminal 2 on the right. This service station, or emergency response station, is assigned to Terminal 1. That vehicle is assigned to Terminal 2. There is no equivalent building over here. Now, you've got a couple of options. You can unassign it from here and assign it to... Sorry, other way around. Unassign it from Terminal 2 and assign it to Terminal 1 so it's allowed to park here, or you can remove that bit of marking. That should resolve his issue. I'm fairly certain it will be allowed to park there now, but it might take a little while to figure it out. Having said that, I could be wrong. I haven't done that much work with terminal markings before, so... He's still driving around like crazy. No, okay, so let's do it the other way. Terminal 2, unassign. Terminal 1, assign. Let go. And, okay, again. He's going to drive around for a little while until he figures it, set, figures it out. But he is assigned to Terminal 1 now, so if we put that marking back... There we go, he's finally parked. And you'll see the police cars are doing the same sort of thing. Assigned to Terminal 2, but this is not either terminal. It can't figure out where to park. 
So let's expand the terminal marking once more. Cover that. And then unassigned from there. Assigned to there. And any minute now, you'll see all of the cars coming along to park there. Same with this ambulance. Um, I'm not sure which symbol the ambulance is, that one. Okay. Unassign, assign. Interesting. No, it takes a moment. Okay. So if we follow him, drives around for a little while and then figures out, oh, I can go to my parking object now. And there we go. Having said all that, and having seen all of that, it's most likely that that's your overall problem. There's one bus here assigned to this stand, but he's also assigned to Terminal 2. Uh, if we look in this, we've got... Uh, not that button. If we look in here, we've got all sorts of vehicles including these airside shuttle buses, that one is assigned to Terminal 1, so there should be some buses that are allowed to get up here, but we've also got the same issue with cars being assigned over here. This depot is part of Terminal 2. So, at the moment, if I zoom out, Terminal 2 is very much under construction, the runway hasn't been built yet and so on, so let's just unassign all of those. They're hiding service cars and shuttle buses. There we go. Let's unassign the belt loaders as well. Baggage trucks and that. Now that's probably overkill. I dare say most of those vehicles will end up back at Terminal 2, but let's just uh, get this actually functioning. Now, as I've said in a previous video, you can manually assign them, or you can wait for a job to come up. So if we look at the vehicles tracker, there's currently four jobs claimed for air, sh air side shuttle buses three jobs are available. Those three jobs should be assigned to vehicles that have no terminal assignment and then get uh, that vehicle will gain that terminal assignment. And you'll see there's a lot of traffic up here right now. We've got passengers deboarding, we've got service rounds happening, baggage being unloaded, and so on. If we give it a minute, it should actually, here we go, yep, baggage loaded, and the passengers should turn up any moment now. We hope. How's our assignment going? Shuttle buses. Okay, it doesn't look like vehicles are being assigned automatically, and that's a puzzle. But now that I've done that, yep, that plane's already left. Let's watch this one. Package is loaded. There's a massive traffic jam. In comes the bus. Passengers get on, and that plane should leave quite happily. Now, I've fixed the actual issue here, but I've caused an issue in the process because now you can see there are squillions of cars driving around every which way because there's not enough parking in this depot. 
Ah, uh, sorry. Where is it? Yeah, this depot. So, three spaces available currently, but I'm fairly certain if we go back to terminal view, we've got, well, even baggage trucks alone, there's 23. So you'll need to actually think more carefully about where you assign things. I don't think you can assign vehicles to service stops. Assign. No. So they can only be assigned to stands or depots. I'll leave you to fix that part in your own time. Bye-bye.